Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're talking about antivirus in Windows 10. Now if you've upgraded your system and did not have an antivirus you're looking at Windows 10 and you're thinking um, I don't have a protection but you do. First of all Windows 10 has its own basic protection. If you have nothing else something called Windows Defender is actually protecting you. If you go at the bottom left, search the web in Windows, just type Defender and you will see Windows Defender. What you want to know is that it's green, working, and if you click the Update tab, it needs to be updated to the latest definitions. This is an OK protection. If you are not the kind to click everywhere and do a million things, it might actually be um, enough. To protect you and I do have a lot of clients as a tech guy that use this and have never got a virus because they're just careful what to do on the web another thing that's good about Windows 10 is that feature that scares some people these updates that we get all the time actually they are good because they make Windows 10 probably the most secure operating system that Windows that Microsoft has ever done so it's a good thing to have these updates regularly and that with Windows Defender you're already protected to a certain point but it is not the best antivirus it's an okay antivirus that's pretty much what I have to say if you've upgraded your system and already have an antivirus um, I've been having a lot of comments about people saying I've upgraded from Windows 8 from Windows 7 my antivirus doesn't work well once upgraded. What I would recommend you to do is that if you have a paid antivirus don't worry you haven't lost your subscription you're still there it's just that you have to re-download it or reinstall it. Now before you do that you'll have to remove the old antivirus that doesn't work well so you can go down once again to the bottom left and search just type remove and go to that new remove programs panel that's available in Windows 10. Here you have apps and programs so here just find your antivirus in the list click on it and click uninstall and if all goes well it's going to be removed you restart your computer just go back to the website where you bought it if it's Norton you go back to the Symantec.com website if it's McAfee just go to the McAfee.com if it's uh, whatever Kaspersky just go back when you actually subscribe to an antivirus you have a user account with a password all you need is go back and re-download the latest version and your subscription is still valid if you've installed from a DVD a CD just pop in that disk and reinstall it from there it should work fine after reinstalled it is normal that an antivirus might not upgrade well when you go from one version of Windows to another. Uh, it's a very complex piece of software and it is something that is easily, easily um, a problem when you have too many changes in an operating system. But what if you're thinking, well, you know, I want to have something good. Well, there's the first level that I showed you, Windows Defender. Uh, there's what I would call level number two, which would be the free antiviruses like um, AVG Free that you can get at free.avg.com, as you see here at the top. So this is one place you can go, free.avg.com, download the free version of AVG. It's a good antivirus, even though it's free. Um, I would probably think it's better than Windows Defender, personally but it's you know free and it works well another one that's popular is Avast Avast antivirus is another very popular free antivirus and this one also usually works pretty well uh, another one that I'm thinking of uh, man it has a umbrella Avira Avira is another one you can check for free be very careful when you go on the web and uh, you don't know where to get it. Make sure you're on the 
really on the website of the company. You see here I'm on avast.com. The other one I was on avg.com, free.avg.com. That's very, very important. A lot of people get caught into installing uh, all sorts of junk because they're not on the correct website. But if your computer is a work computer, if you're working all the time on your computer, if your computer is like a center point of your life, it's the center piece of you know everything you do, it's a computer that you share a lot of stuff with a lot of people, I would recommend a paid antivirus. As for paid antivirus, the one I probably recommend the most is from ESET.com and it's NOD32 antivirus. NOD means no open doors, by the way. So NOD32 antivirus is, I think, the best antivirus ever you can get right now. It's a very, very good antivirus. It's a very low profile in your uh, computer, so it doesn't slow it down as much as others. And it is really good at detecting viruses in malware. So not 32. Norton 360 or Norton Security is actually uh, pretty surprising. I've been testing antiviruses last year and it they really, really worked hard to make Norton much, much better. Uh, for a long time, I had forgotten Norton because I thought it was just so bad. It slowed the computer so much. But lately, they've really worked hard to make it much better. So I will recommend Norton, of course, if you also want Norton. Uh, Kaspersky is another good one, so if you go to Kaspersky uh, website, you can download. Um, many tech guys actually uh, recommend Kaspersky. Uh, so it's really, you know, depends on you. Make sure you go to the Kaspersky website. That's always, you know, the important thing when you use an antivirus or download it from the web. Make sure you're on the proper website for the company that makes the antivirus. So, uh, but you know, that said, if you are the kind that's, you know, careful, you know, I used Windows Defender and I'm never, never, never have been uh, infected with anything in Windows 7 and Windows 8 in Windows 10. Now you'll say, well, you're the tech guy, you know what to do. That's true. But you know what? Um, there's a lot of hype about how Windows gets viruses and it's not that bad, actually. And as a tech guy, I can tell you that 90% of all the clients that I went to that have antivirus, uh, that have virus or malware on the computer actually, clicked on something. They did an action. It didn't pop up on its own. So, you know, that just tells you that how you use your computer is the best security, of course. And uh, so you can check that out. So that's pretty much what I have to say about antiviruses. Only you know what you can do and what you can use. Maybe you have your own antivirus, you can share it with us here. And uh, just remember that if you have nothing, you're, you are protected. You have the Windows Defender antivirus. And actually, when you check out the Windows Defender uh, for the first time, it actually adds a little icon here in the uh, taskbar to show you that it's working, that little brick wall, basically. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything, please share it with us. It's fun to have your feedback. By subscribing, you'll know when new videos are online, and uh, hopefully you will come back to my channel. And I hope you enjoy the videos. Thank you for watching.